All right, so Williams, welcome to this debriefing session and uh, and congratulations on scoring a 710. Really good verbal score. Uh, really great verbal score, a 94 percentile and then a good quant score. So so you've been preparing for some time and, and, and how does it feel? Uh, as I said, it's a huge sense of relief because it's a high pressure when you, you, you look for a good score. You have a high pressure, a lot of pressure in your mind. So when you finish it, it's a huge sense of relief in your mind. Okay, and then now you have your next milestone right right there with you, which is, hey, you have the interview from HEC Paris. So, so that's I've already have it. I've, I've, I have already taken the interview. So one was uh, in Tuesday. The last one was yesterday. Okay. So you've so done two interviews with HEC Paris? Two interviews, yeah, with alumni. Okay, that's good. That's great. How did they go? Uh, it, was, it was nice because the, the, both of them were kind. It was a little, a little bit difficult yesterday, I have to, to be honest, because the, the one of yesterday, his English was a bit, um, <laughs> was a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. He had a strong American accent, accent but okay. it, it was kind, they, they were kind and uh, I, I made a presentation, it was nice and everything went on the way. That is, that's, that's really good to know. So, so let's talk about, uh, about your GMAT preparation. So, so Williams, you started the, yeah, with a score of 670, uh, 640 in the first block. And, and then yes. so how did you plan your preparation? How did you go about it after that? Okay, first of all, I have to be honest that it was a huge, um, uh, uh, I was very lucky to find the GMAT because I, when I took the, the first Sigma mock and I took the, the plan, the, the digital planning tool mm -hmm. of EGMAT and yes. I started to focus, I mean, I started to focus myself on the verbal section because I learned that it was the, 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 the section which has the main focus on the, on the score, on the final score. Mm -hmm. So I decided to take a long time to prepare for the sentence correction. So mm -hmm. I did sentence correction maybe one month or one and a half month. Then mm -hmm. I, I took uh, critical reasoning and then reading comprehension and then two to three weeks for the uh, quant, quant section. Mm -hmm. This is because I plan to take the test only three months after the first Sigma X mock, mm -hmm. but uh, it took a, a lot more longer than I, I planned. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? so when I started the, the sentence correction, section, I, I noticed that the, the, the course was very nice because there, there are a lot of chapters mm -hmm. and the chapters cover quite everything, every, every, everything. And every time you start, you, you do the, the, the exercises, you can feel that you learn something. And when I did my second Sigma X mock, I think I went, I don't know, my, my core, my percentile in sentence correction went from maybe 40 to 86 or 90 percent. So it was very really tremendous. I took a lot of time to focus on the sentence correction because it's it's a bit tricky, to be honest, mm -hmm. it's a bit tricky and the content of the course is very uh, thorough and very long. So I decided to learn it very well. And then I ended up with a nice percentile just one month and a half after the, the beginning of the preparation. Okay. Then when I took the, when I took the the second, uh, this is after the, I mean, just after the second Sigma X mock, mm -hmm. I started preparing for critical reasoning. Mm -hmm. uh, this part was very difficult for me, I have to be honest, because to, to figure out the princip the, the principle or the, the look, uh, if I took a look back, it seems like it's the easiest, it's, it should be normally the easiest section of the whole uh, mm -hmm. verbal part because mm -hmm. the matter of strategy. Mm -hmm. So you, you read the argument when you know what is the, what is an argument mm -hmm. and you know what are the steps you have to follow. Normally the answer should be very clear. So, but for me it was difficult. I didn't figure out very well or very quickly this uh, this strategy. So, uh, my first call on uh, critical reasoning on this first Sigma X mock was high, but then it went down. When I mean it went up and down, so <laughs> it was a catastrophe. Also, I felt like, I mean, when I started, I felt like um, the reading comprehension should be my strongest part because mm. it's just about reading a text and then finding mm. the right solution. It should be normally easy. Mm. Mm. But from the first Sigma X 
to the second one or to the third one felt like I, I couldn't master some some trip some tips in order to answer those questions very well. But then um, I finished the courses, every course. I also took the quant section, mm -hmm. the courses of the quant section, mm -hmm. and uh, to precise, to be precise, it's the second time. I didn't let you know. The second time I take the GMAT test, the first time was two years ago. Okay. Two years ago. Okay. And I scored uh, uh, verbal 23 and quant 47. Okay. So I know I knew that the quant section would be not so complicated. I just had to focus on what is on the, the course. And I, I, mm -hmm. I followed every course. So normally it would have been okay. Then uh, I was supposed to take the test on December. I during, just in December, I think my last, my third or my fourth mock, Sigma X mock was, I had 700. Yes. But to be honest, I feel like I had 700, but not being very confident about the mastery of the concepts. Mm -hmm. Just happened that I, I had 700, but I had a lot of, um, I still had a lot of difficulties in critical reasoning, Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, mainly in critical reasoning, the critical reasoning section. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, I knew that I still had one month and a half ahead of me because mm -hmm. the test was normally rescheduled to February uh, 12, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I had one month and a half. Mm -hmm. But this period was, was not very nice, to be honest, because uh, the intensity slow down a little bit because I, I, I already had three months of intense study, three months. So when I knew that I would take the test one month and a half later, mm -hmm. it was not very easy mentally to continue with the same momentum. Mm -hmm. So what happened was a total breakdown. <laughs> uh, my score went down on Sigma X mock test. Yes. And also yes. On, on the official GMAT test the official practice test. Mm -hmm. Then, um, fortunately, fortunately, to be honest, I couldn't take the test on February 12th again. So uh, what I did is that I, I, I wrote to the, I think, to, I don't know, to Olivia or someone mm -hmm. of DigiMath to let them know what I can do in order to, to mm -hmm. reverse this slowdown in my, in my score. Okay. I'm happy because they gave me Nice, very nice tip. I, I felt like it was very a lot of tips, but mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, too, uh, the test was to be taken a little bit far, so I had the time to cement that, that because this is the part I didn't take. Cementing, the cementing quizzes, the, yes. Yeah, the cementing quizzes, yes. I didn't know that option because I have to to to, to precise that uh, from the various emails I received from EGMAT, there was an e uh, uh, an email which talked about what you should do 25 days before the test. Mm -hmm. And I didn't um, really pay attention to that email. I didn't pay attention to it. So when uh, the, 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 the agent from EGMAT told me what to do, cement the quiz, cement everything, mm -hmm. I tried to follow as much, as much steps as possible. And mm -hmm. uh, it was quite better. Uh, also, there was a very, very interesting uh, thing which helped me it mm. was uh, some the strategic analysis mm -hmm. strategic analysis of what you did mm -hmm. I think that if I knew this strategic analysis skill uh, maybe in November I would have been really ready in December because mm -hmm. it's very clear to, to, to be able to figure out in which step you are faltered yes. if it's the evaluation of the argument in evaluation of the propositions Evaluation of oh, the yes, strategic so, review, you mean to say? Yeah, the strategic review for sure is yes. very, very important to know it even at, mm -hmm. the, at the beginning of the preparation of the course. Mm -hmm. Strategic review. So, when I, I started making the strategic analysis of what I did, I, I, mm -hmm. I think uh, I was ready for the critical reasoning, mm -hmm. for the critical reasoning section, and also the recommendations from EGMA, the long list of recommendations in mm -hmm. order to reverse the slowdown told me to, to go again into the courses for the reading comprehension. So I also took some nice advices in the reading comprehension course. So I can I could I was able to 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 
bring up my score in the verbal section. In that part, it was very nice. I, I was sure to be able to score at least V35. Mm -hmm. At least, I mean, at least V35. So, but I was seeking for V38 or V39, something like that. Mm -hmm. Then, but the the part on which I had I have the most regrets is on the quant section. Yes. I have a lot of regrets there because, first of all, uh, the questions from each mat are very tough. <laughs> the quant the quant questions are very tough. Mm. So, but for middle difficulties question, it's nice. It's very nice. It's very uh, the same as or, or even a little bit stronger than the question mm. from the, the practice test. Mm. So I decided to focus on the middle difficulty question to have mm. a nice score on those questions. Mm. But uh, what has been difficult for me is to, uh, to maintain that momentum because pra making the practice on quant mm. for three months, then one month, then one month again, then half a month is very difficult mentally. It's very difficult. This is why we. Three, three, three weeks before the test, I was very mentally uh, exhausted. Overloaded. So, yeah, exhausted, a lot, very, very exhausted. So I didn't practice mm. matter the point anymore. Oh, I knew wow. that. Yeah, I didn't practice the the, the, the point because it was very, very difficult to, and I didn't have the motivation because, to be honest, uh, the test I didn't know that the test would be available more than one week before. Got it. So to, I, I can explain you. So one day the, the test center tells me, okay, on Monday the test will be open. Mm -hmm. Then you call on Monday, it's not open. So mm -hmm. you have to wait again for one week, five days. And every time you tell yourself, okay, it's in three days, I don't have to practice, mm -hmm. I'm heavy, I'm overloaded. So it takes three, three weeks like this. And then mm -hmm. you, do, you didn't practice the one session, you focused mm -hmm. on the, 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 the verbal section then uh, yes i did a lot of practice on real questions from the gmat the gmat itself on my last my last um, practice on the gmat test i, I had seven on ten so something like b for uh, quant 49 or 48 and verbal maybe 38 so i had seven and seven hundred and ten so i felt i was pretty to go to the, to the test, so I went to the test. Um, I could have scored, I, I could have scored quant 48 or 49, mm -hmm. but I stuck, I stuck on a, a little question. I made a, a little error on the question, <laughs> and it was so easy that I couldn't leave it. <laughs> a bad error, a very, very bad error. I can imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> And I, I, I have to imagine that I took the, 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 the verbal section before, so my mind was, uh, I mean, there was a lot of... Uh, it's already I, overloaded, I, okay, yes. Yes, I was already overloaded. So I couldn't take and make the good decisions in the quant section, coupled with the fact that I couldn't practice three, three weeks before the test. So I ended up with a, be a quant 47, which um, for me is disappointing because the world, the world preparation on real GMAT question or real GMAT practice, I had at least one 48. So it was one 48 or one 49, at least. So between these two scores. So when I saw one 47, I was disappointed. But when I saw B 49, 41 and a total score of 710, I Okay, I agree. I agree, William. So, so that's that's really good. William, you there? William? William, you there?